Hi, my name is Chris Hutchinson, and I wrote Rediscovering Humility, Why the Way Up is Down. And really, uh, it's been a book I've been writing for about 30 years, uh, ever since I came to Christ as a teenager, because uh, I was saved out of the particular sin of self-righteousness. I had grown up going to church, but I thought my being a good person was enough to get me to heaven, and I thought I was a pretty good person. So when I came to faith in Christ, and I learned it was entirely by grace. I, I soon realized that humility had to be at the center of this new life that I had. And soon enough, I discovered uh, humility right at the center of C.S. Lewis's writings, the beauty of humility. Uh, and then later, when I went off to college, I began reading of the theology of a, of a man named Jonathan Edwards. And I remember sitting up on a tree my freshman year, a tree just like this one, uh, reading one of his essays and just getting blown away about the logic uh, of humility found in the gospel. And then later on, when I was in the army and I was deployed suddenly overseas, I just grabbed a bunch of books uh, randomly and threw them in my rucksack. And the one that really stuck with me was this one by Andrew Murray, written about 100 years ago. Uh, again, just called humility. And, and I was really struck by how this had to be the main way that I would grow to be more like Christ. And so I struggled with my pride through all these years. And at the same time, I was observing the American church and particularly the evangelical church and saw that we didn't talk much about humility. And in fact, no major book had been written on the subject since uh, Andrew Murray's work that I at least found. And it wasn't just that we didn't talk about it, just the way we did things did not promote humility. The emphasis on celebrities and the emphasis on growth and numbers and outward glory. Uh, and so I, I, I began to try to think more about this. Now, thankfully, since then, a couple of wonderful books uh, on humility have come out. But what they have done is focus on uh, individual humility, our individual walks after Christ. And that's great. That's where we have to start. But I wanted us to think more about what does it mean to be humble together. Uh, if, if individual Christians are to be humble, then certainly our churches should be humble together in the way that we worship, uh, the way we uh, do evangelism, the, the way we promote our programs, all ought to promote humility as central to the Christian life. And so I began to try to put these thoughts together in a book and got it done a couple of years ago. And I'm so thankful uh, for new growth, for taking a risk on me. And, and I'm hoping then that this will begin the discussion and help add a few suggestions of ways that we can as churches um, show the beauty of Christ and, and by humbling ourselves and pointing one another and a watching world to him.